Welcome back. If you just joined us, we've been looking at Nigeria's aviation sector reform and the federal government's intervention in revamping the sector. And our guest on this episode of Question Time is the Managing Director of the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, Engineer Saleh Dunuma. Join us again. One of the grievances of the airline operators is multiple taxation. How can you justify this? There is uh, nothing like uh, multiple taxation. Uh, you see, the aviation industry, uh, the guiding principle is that uh, whatever you do, you try to recover your costs. So it is based on that that any service that we render at all, we make sure that if nothing, you should be able to recover your cost. So with that guiding principle, I don't think there's uh, any multiple taxation anywhere. Uh, if there is any, uh, we are open to discussion, especially with, uh, with our uh, with airport users. And um, uh, that committee that I mentioned earlier on uh, sat down and looked at all this. And I'm sure uh, they, they must have considered, uh, looked at that, because we were members of that committee and uh, a thorough work was done. So uh, by the time uh, the government takes a decision on the implementation of the recommendations, uh, all that would have been addressed. The, the federal government is coming up with an ambitious plan to concession the airports. Is this the right way to go? Yeah, um, concession for me uh, is better than privatization because uh, in concession uh, what you are doing is you are asking somebody who knows how to do the business better than you to come and team up with you and uh, do the business together. So we are, not, uh, we are not putting our assets across the fence and turn our back to it. But what we are doing is that, okay, if you know how to do it better, come, let's share your experience, let's work together, let's improve the services, let's improve the revenues, and let's improve on the infrastructure requirement. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think, it, it, especially when you look at uh, the dwindling resources of uh, government and the con uh, other contending issues also that government has to battle with, like security, health, education, and what have you, uh, since... Um, uh, aviation uh, generates uh, uh, some kind of revenue. I mean, concession is the best way, I think, to perfect it, not privatization. Privatization is uh, uh, handing over the asset to a private hand and turn your back to it and you're putting it across the fence. It does not belong to government. It belongs to the private entity. I think concession is better. Let's talk about how can aviation feel now. Airline operators are not smiling on this. Uh, it's it's creating pains in them. Um, what are you doing to control this? Yeah, we, from the studies conducted and the committees set up to look at uh, all the aviation charges, we discovered that fuel is a very critical element in, in, in the cost of running uh, airlines. Uh, but um, and the other issue, the major issue is that um, most of the time we import this aviation fuel. So of course you cannot control cost of anything that uh, you import, it's very difficult. But the only way to do it is to start refining. Uh, before this time uh, we were made to understand that uh, Potakot and Kaduna refineries uh, used to uh, produce Jet A1, which is the fuel used by uh, the, the airline operators. Uh, we need to go back to that and uh, uh, there was a time we visited uh, the uh, group managing director of NNPC with the Honorable Minister of Aviation and uh, a plan has been uh, put in place to start the production of this aviation fuel in our two refineries, the Kaduna and uh, Potakot refineries. So once, done, once that is done and fuel is sourced internally, then of course the price will go down. You can imagine uh, importation and handling and you know transportation to all the locations. All these costs add up to a per liter uh, cost of uh, aviation fuel. So if uh, the, uh, internal production starts, we'll, we'll be able to control the price. So now let's talk about air safety. Now, yeah. um, how good are we? We are very good. Um, uh, you know, we, we don't judge ourselves as far as safety is concerned. Uh, we have a lot of agencies, all these international agencies, their major concern is safety. ICAO itself is uh, the basis of existence is safety. Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority is all about safety. Um, uh, all other all other international agencies, their main interest is safety and then uh, security. So. Uh, Every year, 
we go through safety audits twice and uh, this safety audit is conducted even the airlines they can conduct their own safety audit uh, and security audit they make sure that uh, uh, they we meet their safety standards but the global safety standard are set up by ICAO it's a uh, it's a uh, is there and uh, they come uh, ICAO sets up a team and they come to do safety audit the last one was done in 2015 I think the last quarter of 2015 uh, which uh, uh, Nigeria uh, scored over 90 percent, and um, uh, which is a it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a it's an excellent score, and uh, we didn't have anything that has a safety significant uh, concerns, so we are good as far as safety is concerned. But what is really responsible for the airline operators collapse in the country? Well, uh, I'm not. Uh, the best person to say uh, what uh, what is the cause probably the airlines will say that by themselves but uh, from my own view um, I think uh, we have issues of uh, uh, good corporate governance and um, I think that's uh, one of the major issues because uh, what does it take to run an airline it takes uh, we have the population the market uh, we have uh, the, the uh, the, uh, the financial uh, support somehow because we have some equipments in this country that hitherto uh, we could have uh, used them efficiently for the aviation business. Uh, so the only thing that uh, I think, in my own opinion, is corporate governance. Before we wind down this conversation now, what are your plans to make sure that Nigeria's aviation sector is a major destination point in the world? Well, first of all, we must have uh, a strong uh, airline, uh, a strong airline in the sense that they must have uh, the numbers and the capacities of equipment in terms of aircraft that is needed to fly people across destinations in Africa and outside Africa. Um, so this uh, is what uh, the Honorable Minister of Aviation is trying to address uh, by uh, coming up with a um, a national career uh, which is uh, private sector driven uh, I think if we get that uh, would have been on our way to uh, an aviation destiny in this country the managing director of the Federal Airport Authority engineer Saleh Dunuma thank you so much for making our time to be part of this episode of question time thank, thank you very much indeed and that's it on this episode of question time what's your take on Nigeria's aviation sector reform Send us a comment on our various social media platforms showing on your screen. Join us next week on another exciting episode of the show on Channels Television. Many thanks for watching. I'm Benga Ashiru. Bye for now.